hi there friends and welcome back once again so friends you are learning jquery step by step so i am just going to tell you one thing that if you really want to learn jquery uh, you need to watch the every single video and please do some practice for every videos because uh, if you don't want to just practice uh, just uh, in watching videos you will not get anything the only thing that uh, can make you more perfect inside JavaScript, uh, the only thing that make you uh, just understand of JavaScript, it is practice. You need to just watch the videos and just as many times you can, you can just do practice. So inside this class, we are going to discuss about JavaScript return function. So here inside this, first we are going to create a function by using the function keyword and a name i'm just using here for example my uh, function this just a name only then a parenthesis then a curly braces inside this i'm just going to write here return what so i'm just going to pass a value this is the text for return function so nothing else if you want to just take the display you uh, can copy the name outside of this block we are going to call document dot write function then inside this one we are going to paste this with the these two parentheses now we can save this just go to your browser and refresh so you can see this is the text for return function that we have written the value of this inside document dot write function by calling the function name so this is called return function return function means you, how you can just return the value inside the function so you can just use them in different way but at first you need to understand how you can create return function so first we have function keyword then a name which is optional you can use any word you can use your name you can use your institute name your school name your friend name even you can use my function that i have used here then return return what you want to just return a string value or integer value then inside document dot write you need to call your function name so we are going to take one more example inside this for example i'm just going to remove this and we can just or i can make this disable for right now so inside this parameter i'm just going to pass two variable a comma b there is two variable and i'm just saying here the third variable variable c is equal to a plus b very simple and i'm just uh, ordering here return c so you can see we have just uh, two variable a and b and we have another variable by name of c and we have equal to a plus b so you need to just uh, put the for right now i'm just going to save this and refresh so you can see here is written none none means there is no value for these two variables so you need to pass a value for example you are giving 10 for the first variable for the a then a comma you are giving 20 for the b so we can just save this now come here and refresh so you can see a plus b is equal to 30. you can change the value from here for example 20 plus 20 you can save and refresh so you can see 40. So the same thing you can just add here minus you can add here multiply you can add here division reminder everything you can see 400 so like this you can create a return function inside javascript just very easily just follow these steps and this uh, we are good as i told we are going to cover this course we are going to make this course complete and perfect just step by step so once again thank you for watching this video See you in the next class.